Apple has unveiled the first Macs using the M1, its new custom processor made for desktop and laptop computers. And they really show off the speed that Apple's own chips are capable of. The first machines to use the new chip are the MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini. With this new chip being built in-house, the Intel chips that were previously in Macs will now be transitioning to the new M1 chip, allowing for even more seamless integration between software and hardware for buttery smooth performance. Now for the first time ever, we will be able to run iOS and iPad apps on the Mac, which is going to be pretty awesome because this is going to allow us to have an even more wide range of games and apps to choose from. It's also going to be really great for developers because they will be able to bring their products to even more places. So what is the M1 chip? Is it really as powerful as Apple claims? Is the M1 really going to set any difference between previous Intel powered Mac minis and the latest ones? Let's find out. So the Apple M1 is a 5 nanometer 8 core chip with 4 high performance cores built for speed and 4 high efficiency cores for less intensive tasks. They can all run together for the most hardcore needs, though it is similar to what we have in iPhones and iPads A series chips. But what makes it stand out of the crowd is that it's not just a CPU, it's a whole SOC consisting of 8 core CPU, 8 core GPU, 16 cores neural engine and the RAM is also built in to talk with each other and provide blazing fast performance. Apple says the high performance cores are the fastest computer core on the planet, though we haven't yet been able to hear how it measures that. But Apple also says that even the low power cores are as powerful as the cores in the Intel MacBook Air, and that they only had two of them. So you can imagine what a huge step up this is going to be. Now let's talk about the all new Mac Mini. For the most part, the new Mac Mini 2020 is visually similar to previous releases, but Apple has made some bold promises with up to 3 times faster CPU performance than the previous Mac Mini and up to 6 times the graphical performance. This is thanks to the new M1 system on a chip. Apple claims the M1 gives this up to 3 times faster processor performance than the previous model and up to 6 times faster graphics. Like the MacBook Pro, cooling will help with sustained performance. It allows the new Mac Mini to compile Xcode up to 3 times faster, play intensive games, and render complex Final Cut Pro scenes much faster than the previous model. Also, in good news for graphics designers and videographers, rendering in Final Cut Pro is also promised to be up to 6 times faster than on previous models. Though it's not clear exactly which previous model Apple is talking about, was it the i5 or the i7 version of the last Mac Mini? Or is it just another marketing strategy of Apple? The Mac Mini can support up to two displays. One display with up to 6K resolution at 60Hz connected via Thunderbolt and one display with up to 4K resolution at 60Hz connected via HDMI 2.0. All while remaining impressively small and compact. Port wise, you get Ethernet LAN, two Thunderbolt ports, HDMI, two USB ports and an audio jack for headphones. We can indeed say that those apps that are really optimized for Mac Mini will run without a hiccup, but you may face interruptions if you use any third-party apps. The new Mac Mini 2020 base model comes with the Apple M1 chip with an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage. There's another model that comes with the same specs but double the storage to 512GB. That's the only difference you'll find on both of these machines. You can also configure either model to come with 16GB of RAM and up to 2TB of SSD storage to match your work needs. By utilizing Apple's very own technology, the M1 chip is the perfect blend of both power, efficiency and performance. Even though it comes with built-in GPU which was missing on the previous Mac Mini, the newer Mac Mini with silicone chip is not only ideal for power-hungry users, it's more well-suited for lightweight users, those who don't like to bring in huge machines for their lightweight tasks. But if you are looking for power in a compact size, then you can definitely go for the latest Intel NUC PCs. So that was all about the new Mac Mini and its differences. Like if you loved it 
and let us know what you think about the new Mac Mini in the comment section.